Welcome to match day one of the Japanese Top League One. This afternoon, we get the 2022 season rolling with NTT Communications shining arcs up against the Kobe Steelers, Sean Maloney and Drew Mitchell in commentary. Drew conditions A1, cool but excellent for this opening matchup out of Kobe. Yeah, thanks, Shawnee. Thanks for having me, and, and welcome to the, the opening game, the opening round of this League One competition in Japan. And like you say, perfect conditions. A little bit on the chillier side, but these both these teams will be looking to attack from, you'd imagine, from anywhere this afternoon. Plenty of players to keep your eye on from both sides. There's a guy that a lot of people have a bit of interest in coming back. First game in a long time in the 15-man code. Yeah, the multiple John Eels medalist Israel Folau back at fullback. <laughs> All right, the newly branded competition gets rolling in Kobe, and it is the Steelers who sent it down inside the shining arcs. Up top. Fakes the kick. Finds a steady bit there with Black who knocks it up over halfway. Oh, Keola across the line for Cruden, looking in, looking out now, switching late with the man that we highlighted pre-game, Lee. Steady hands there to sell it short of the 22. Lovely handling here for Marita to Schickling. Schickling five away. It's nice and quick for the home side. Lee ducks under a high one there from Moore. Oh, Keola. Iwasa from the floor gets it away for Jan. Kelly Vantage here as well for the Steelers. Across the line they go. And it is a beautiful touch of handling on the outside that sees Buckman grab the first for Kobe Steelers. Yeah, great build up play for the Kobe Steelers. And that man there, Richard Buckman, just straightened up the attack off Cruden. This is the initial break. Schickling gets into some space. And some cover defense from the shining arcs brings him down but the patience as they go out the back cruden's just slightly drifting and buckman straightens the line gets inside full out and scores it under the post their own half and now they get the ball back steelers flat that one down to falau falau winding up <laughs> Kelly Vantage here for the high tackle there. Black, dummies, holds it up. It's a beautiful ball away for more, more for Falau. Falau reaching and scoring. Okay. We're going to have a look here for a little bobble. グランディングしてるように見えますけど、グランディング問題ありませんか。ボールはないと思ってます。問題ないですね。はい、ありがとうございます。サイドから give it。good support play for the shining arcs. big right foot step from Israel Flau to put him in space. Here's a look at the high tackle that they were playing with the penalty advantage the shining arcs and so one, two, I think, from Black to Moore. And then away for Falau. Yeah, it's good work for Moore. Ball him two hands, giving himself the option. And there's that big right foot step we've seen so often. He's getting it over the line. No TMO here this afternoon. Falau banks five in the Japan Rugby League one. He's had plenty of touches early on and Makes that one count for the visitors. So Terry Black looking for the match leveling two. Five to the left of the uprights. Black. Knocks it over and it's 7 7. It's been pretty dominant so far from the Shining Arcs in terms of territory and possession. So we see Flau again from another angle. 
definitely there. Miura. Now he goes to work with a line out. Still there, Miura. Will he get it a little later? No. But we'll surely have a yellow card here. Got that. And the call's gone against Miura and his teammates. I think they'll change it surely. No cards for me. Yeah, it's a penalty try and a yellow card to Moyaki Ola. Did you just translate that from Japanese to English? Well, that was going to be a penalty try. I did a bit of Japanese when I was uh, going through school. So what is penalty try in Japanese? I actually heard him say penalty try somewhere <laughs> <Okay>. in English. <laughs> But I, I think also looking at the footage, there was no other option for the referees and the officials once they had another look at it. But poor Miura, he just can't. Arita, burrowing his way for Gill over the top. Gill gets a shot on it. Gill and Yin combine. They win the penalty right in front of their own poles. Black at the line, flat, looking to connect here. They're queuing up left and right. Black delays the pass and misses the mark. Ready to go early and they were in under the sticks. Yeah, he just had too many options there. Confused himself as to what he wanted to do. Really flattened up on the receipt of this. He gets the fend out. Has plenty of players either side, but actually just ran away from his support player. Even went to Leon and was so highly regarded he actually coached the breakdown lessons at training of which you had no part in <laughs> I was sick on those days well he's got to defend here as the Steelers come away looking for their second and they'll get it McCarran fighting to get it down and does so there was nothing but space down the left hand side for the home team and they make the shiny arts pack. Yeah, McCarran finishing it, having enough speed on the end as they come back the short side. A nice play at the back to Cruden. Yamanaka, nice hands. Moyaki Ola also holding it up really well. And McCarran, just enough momentum. Yumoto has to be said, a gallant effort to try and hold him up, but just too, too much momentum for that man there. Brody McCurran. Cruden. Right on half time. Attempting to square it up. This is toughest kick of the afternoon. First shot at the poles was a gimme. Cruden, four in from touch. Drags it way to the left, and at the break, it is the visitors, NTT Coms, Shining Arts, with their noses in front against the Kobe Steelers. The players arriving after him that were infringing. Cruden to retake the lead and he makes no mistake. 15 14. Nakajima, Nakamura. Over to Cruden. Cruden sending it over the top. To McCarran. The last out of that first up shot from Hano. Nakajima. The big names are starting to up there. Work in the tempo of the game. Nakamura. The Endeavour brings a penalty. And Aaron Cruden. Could easily step in here and potentially advance that lead to four. Yeah, we just saw there Aaron Cruden looking straight across to the Steelers bench to perhaps get some indication what they want to do. Is this isn't what we want to see? Hopefully, this is just precautionary. Tokotio just down at the moment, getting some plenty of attention. It looks like he's trying to. Cruden, 30 out. Into the breeze. No issue for the 2011 World Cup winner, and he makes it a four-point lead to the home team.
Got to get it right on this occasion. It's Coach. Suruta Boy. gets set to feed. Yes. There's a full Second arm penalty, and Suruta goes himself. Suruta off the mark. He's off the Impatient yes. with his scrum inside this final quarter. Suruta playing really flat here. That was a key stop on Gates from Mo Akiola, but he gets up and he goes again. Gates, excellent run. Tukafuka. There's his centre partner taking on for a couple more. More. More away for Jeffries. Six out now. The shining arcs. Too short of the line. Saruta calling for help. Jeffries posses up. A couple away from the ruck. Kin. Looking short side, Kin. Sliding it back now. The Steelers come around the corner and now the penalty advantage here for the Shining Arcs. Black, crossfield, looking for Falau! Oh wow, he's back! It's trademark Izzy. And NTT hit the lead. We've seen him do it time and time again. And once more, he looks so comfortable under the high ball. Terry Black under penalty advantage. Just knew he had to get it somewhere in the vicinity of that man. And he'll do the rest. And the rest he did. Moyaki Ola underneath it. Nothing he could have done. Fraser Anderson trying to come across. But we've said it many a year ago. No one better in world rugby under the high ball and in his first game back in the code he's proven exactly why well he has looked a cut above with his first touch and every subsequent one following Israel Folau and now has two tries in his shining arcs debut this a key kick for black just to put it out to that six-point margin. Have that buffer as we go inside the final couple of minutes. Black pulls it back. And it's on the board for the Shining Arcs. They're up by six. It's theirs to lose. Have another look at it here. Otero Black just putting it. Close enough for Israel Flau to do the rest. Getting a picky back of sorts from Oyaki Ola. And then getting it down and look how happy he is. Getting valuable meters. It's getting fractured for the men in blue away to the left. Is that the way they head here, the Steelers? Oyaki Ola will take some stopping in time. He lets Jane take it on. He's short. There's a second thrust as he got it down. They're claiming it. Now it comes back. It'll be the easiest of shots to go for Cruden if they can get it in here. Cruden just letting his big men go to work. They swing it open. He's Cruden tapping it on. Out wide it comes for Anderson. He's all alone. He pops well in contact. He's Lee. Lee gets chopped. Somehow still with the Steelers. The Shining Arts, lucky not to get a penalise there for not rolling away. The conceded metres, and again, there's a penalty. Lucky to dodge one month ago. Moa Akiola. He's all alone. The Shining Arts go in, get it. They get penalised and will be reduced. It's a 14 man, I think, in just a moment. <laughs> it's chaos. So they're playing without a winger for the moment, are the Steelers, and he's one of the most damaging runners as he gets his wheels on. The Steelers go in!
24-23 the score. And we've got Aaron Cruden stepping to the tee. Not an easy kick for Cruden. He's hitting it into the breeze here. Just the one miss. It was a tug shot just before half time from wide left. The game was in the kit bag of the Shining Arts. They just ended to take the restart, the 79th minute. Couldn't do so. Here we are, five minutes into stoppage time, and it's Cruden with a chance to open the season with a win for the home team. Cruden for the victory. It's a miss. Cruden pushes it wide right. And the NTT comes shining arcs. Open 2022 20, with a remarkable win.